Hey, this is Simeon, and today we're gonna step back into what I call the Historical Instrument Virtual Archive of Real Samples. Uh, they have done such a magnificent job in preserving uh, these historical instruments from harpsichords and spinets, and it's so amazing to be able to play these instruments. And today we're gonna take a look at a uh, Thomas Hitchcock English spinet that was built in 1718. And I can't wait to show it to you. It's so beautiful. And just kind of play this a little bit. You know, it, I'm always tempted to uh, hit the sustain pedal on these, but when you look at these instruments, they are, there were no sustain pedals, um, you know, on these instruments. They were, they were used by, I guess, different ways of plucking the strings or exciting the string and no sustain pedal. And so, you know, very transient. And in order to sustain it, you had to, you know, just hold the key down until it was... And you know me, I've got uh, what I call sustained pedalitis, so I would... I would hold that down. <laughs> But the thing is, that is the beauty of this. So we can take this um, beautiful instrument that was built in 1718 and bring it forward where we can play it and then um, also just take it even uh, to more places, which, we'll, which we're gonna do. So I'm gonna open this up in uh, Contact, and you do need the full version of Contact in order to um, use this instrument. And so we're gonna take a look. It comes as um, a multi, so you load the multi, and on the top you have the uh, key, the key down, which there are eight variations. So the thing is, since it's not uh, like ve velocity sensitive, uh, like other historical instruments like harpsichords, and this spinet is also not velocity sensitive. So every time you hit a key, it's gonna kind of excite the string at the same velocity level, but it's not gonna excite it in the same way each time. So Real Samples has given us eight different variations. So each time you press the key down, you're gonna get a different, uh, Variation up to you know eight variations of that sample, and now with the key up, you have four. And so let's uh, solo that, and I'm going to crank the uh, the gain up on this so we can hear uh, what um, what those release samples. And you've got four variations of that because what happens is the key goes down, it comes up and resets. So you hear different little things. You know, they're subtle, but it makes such a difference when you're playing the instrument. So uh, let's uh, let's just reset this. I'm gonna hold shift. Okay, control, hit control, and that'll reset the um, reset the volume. So here we go. Let's just let's just kind of play the uh, basic sound again. and how low we can get it. You know, the way this spinet is designed, it's kind of elongated to allow to get some deeper tones. And then we've got this beautiful upper end. Okay, so it ends on this G here. Let's see.
you know, playing these, it does challenge and inspire you. <laughs> One cool thing is that uh, the way that the spinet was designed, it was kind of designed like at an angle, so you could put put it kind of up against a wall, but the player could still uh, sit there and, and kind of have eye contact, if you will, with the audience. And you know, for young ladies uh, that were um, were were in society and that kind of thing, you know, say it, uh, they would, you know. Just kind of play and, uh, you know, kind of keep an eye out for the people in the audience. <laughs> I thought that was kind of cool. You know, I'm a big Jane Austen uh, fan. I guess the the movies uh, Sense and Sensibility and Emma are some of my favorites. And so when I, when I play these types of instruments, it takes me like back into those times, which I think is kind of fun. Um, So with this instrument, there are only two uh, basic instruments. So this one that I was playing is at 440. So they've tuned it to 440. So the original tuning was 403, 403 hertz, and they called that the Velati tuning. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and load, uh, load that different tuning up, and let's take a listen. It always, um, <laughs> it always fascinates me to hear the difference. So uh, you can... Um, I've got this in my quick load uh, in the multi section because it does use the multis. So I'm going to just drag the uh, original tuning up, and let's um, let's take a listen. I'm going to play C. It's it. You know when you're so used to hearing things at 440 tuned it with that standard, you hear something different. Uh, it it's kind of it's kind of uh, jarring at first, but you get kind of get used to it. So let's see. Okay, so I got lost. The, I got lost there a little bit. It's the character and those overtones that I'm hearing. And it's in that different tuning. It's in that 403 tuning, which I think is uh, kind of cool. Uh, you know, one of the things, you know, that I like to do, I love being able to put the um, instruments through uh, different effects. And because it just like, it takes these instruments from 1718 and brings them forward to today. So being in contact and being a virtual instrument, it, it's not limited 
to how it was limited in 1718. And that's what I really uh, get excited about because we can have these historical instruments and take them uh, even further. And the way that real samples have captured these, they've captured these with uh, these beautiful ribbon microphones and you know, state-of-the-art uh, digital, I mean, analog to digital converters sampled at 192 uh, and 24-bit, like I guess 192 uh, kilohertz <laughs> and 24-bit. And then they downsampled it to uh, kind of uh, preserve the quality and kind of maintain the size. But um, what I love to do is uh, bring these into, um, into the DAW and be able to uh, just have some fun playing uh, these effects. So here we go. Let's see what let's see what we've got. Um, let's see what we've got today. So here we go. So I've got this in uh, Cakewalk here, <laughs> and I've loaded a couple of uh, a couple of effects that I like to use. I like to use. Um, I always like to go with the like the Valhalla effects, like the Shimmer Verb and Supermassive, but there was an effect uh, from Arturia and it was uh, recently free. And, you know, sometimes they do those types of things where they'll run, uh, they'll, they'll kind of run a promotion, but you can check this out. This is called uh, e uh, Effects Refract. And this is kind of like, I'm just kind of messing around with some of the presets, but let's, um, let's go to like one of the presets here and go to a lush broken chord. Just kind of experiment with this. Instantly, it just takes it to another world. We can change the chord to like fifths. That's cool. <laughs> and then uh, let's see, we can go ahead and just uh, maybe do some um, some distortion as well. So we'll bring this back up so we can see. That sounds pretty cool. So let's go to um, Destroying Angels. <laughs> Let's bring it over to the wet so we can hear more of what the... Uh... And having that low end, that low end just is right there. And then you can just take you to crazy places. Um, so like, uh, let's just see what we've got here. Some modulation, let's do a low, uh, like phaser type of thing. So very crazy effects with, uh, with refract. But uh, I love what Shimmer does to, uh, to these beautiful harpsichords and spinets, these historical instruments here. So this is just uh, Shimmer and just out of the box. So we can take a listen to that. Let's see. Let's go back to the 440. Let's go back to the 440 tuning here. 
and just drag and drop that up there and that'll load the 440 tuning in there. And let's go ahead and play some more with this. <laughs> yeah, here, here, here the difference is almost like uh, a whole semitone down or... slow in and then you have the nice uh, the bright Listen how beautiful that is. So one, one thing Valhalla offers us is the, um, we have the Supermassive. Now Supermassive is a free uh, effect plugin that you can uh, pick up and it has some really wonderful effects. Like delays. Delay here is what kind of keeps it pulsing. If you play on the offbeat, it gets that crazy syncopation. enjoyed uh, taking a fun look again into the uh, Thomas Hitchcock English Spinet, where we not only visit the past, but we enjoy playing a little bit of the future. And this is Simeon 
reminding you to stay joyful. And I look forward to seeing you next time.